Hi, it's Jeff Gage out here on Bainbridge Island at Green Mountain Technologies. It's a beautiful, cold winter day, which is why we're inside filming. And uh, we had a question that came up. What does mineralization mean? Mineralization means making it into minerals. So we're taking organic material that was once alive, and any of the you know vitamins that have been taken up by the animal or by the plant are still in there, and those are actually minerals. Those minerals can be calcium, they can be uh, iron, they can be magnesium, potassium, phosphorus, and it can actually just mean rock, just stuff that's left over after you burn it. So the way we test for mineralization is we burn a sample, see, well, how much ash is left? We weigh it, we identify the weight difference between the beginning and the end, and that is the percent ash. Mineralization means we take the organic matter and we keep turning this stuff more and more into that mineral ash. It might take seven to ten years to get everything in a compost pile to turn to that ash level. And we really don't want that. We usually want only about uh, 50 to 60 percent mineral in our compost when we done, we're done. So we have about 40 percent organic matter left. That means there's still food in this for bacteria and fungi in the soils to still keep feeding and using that compost for its best value, which is food for the soil. The minerals are also where a lot of the nutrients are available for the plants to take. So the minerals that were once in a plant body, as they mineralize, now they're available for the next plant, the next time. So uh, nature cycles the nutrients, how we get good plant health, even in a forest floor with nothing underneath but sandy desert. By the way, we're going to talk about Egypt in the next video. Thanks for listening. Jeff Gage, Green Mountain Technologies.